Unit Two, March Fourth. Emoji in spotlight as farmer faces hefty fine. In Saskatchewan, Canada, a legal case showed that a thumbs up emoji might be seen as a digital commitment. A farmer named Chris Octor received a contract message for purchasing flax, to which he replied with a thumbs up emoji. However, after Mr. Octor didn't deliver the promised goods, the buyer initiated legal action. At the trial, Mr. Octor claimed that his emoji response was just a sign he had received the message, not an agreement. Despite his defense, the court ordered him to pay a fine. Of eighty-two thousand Canadian dollars, around two million NT dollars. Justice Keen ruled that a thumbs-up emoji can signal an agreement, just like a digital signature. Citing Dictionary.com, he pointed out that the gesture conveys approval or encouragement in digital contexts. While traditional signatures serve as standard proofs, Keen highlighted that in today's context. Emoji could potentially act as digital confirmation. As a result, Octor was forced to honor the contract. In today's digital age, this case reminds us to approach online communications with caution to avoid unexpected legal consequences. Scientists pioneer advanced plant-based leather. Traditional leather, often derived from animal skins, is highly valued in fashion. But brings up ethical and environmental concerns. Furthermore, damage to these luxury items is upsetting because of the high cost of leather materials. However, these issues might be addressed with the introduction of self-healing leather made from mycelium. Mycelium is a thread-like structure that thrives underground during mushroom growth, drawing nutrients from rotting materials such as logs. While the concept of mycelium leather isn't novel, previous methods of production blocked fungal development. Bioengineer Elise Elsacker and her team grew mycelium in a nutrient-rich environment containing proteins and carbohydrates. Through this method, the spores on the mycelium remain functional. They can be prompted to regenerate by soaking them in the initial nutrient solution. Ensuring the leather retains its self-healing property. This pioneering plant-based leather is still in experimental phases, as there's a need to improve its toughness and control spore expansion to prevent unplanned fungal growth. Still, it shows potential for market introduction in the near future.